Hello, and welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. This is just a quick tip video on how to power your vending machines on and off. Now you may want to do this for a variety of reasons. You just want to not sell a particular day. You don't feel like scrapping the wires or storing the machines. So I'm just going to show you how to do a quick power pylon switch so you can turn your machines on and off. And then I've had a few questions from friends and other YouTube subscribers about whether or not these things show up in survival. So we'll take a quick trip into survival mode to see if it shows up on the map. Now right now I just dropped one of the powered pylon switches and up on the second floor of my house I just have to move the fusion generator over a little bit so the wire can pass through and down to the powered pylon switch. There's what it looks like. Let's grab the generator and hopefully we can get it right on the edge. And it's cooperating today. It's a miracle. I must say I had a blast traveling around the map, uh, checking out other people's camps and their player vending machines. It was a lot of fun, almost like a Halloween where you just traveled around and, and got to check out other things. So. Uh, I think it was fantastic. I think it was the best addition to the game. That and also um, we cannot destroy other people's camps unless we are already hostile to that uh, person. So I tested it out, went over to a friend's place. We were not on team. I shot at the turrets. I was not attacked. I shot at the house and I was not attacked, nor did I do any damage whatsoever. So getting back to the power pylon. I'm going to run it to the first machine, and then I just want to remove one of the old connectors that I don't need right now and delete that wire. Doing this stops you from storing the machine or deleting wires. You can just, with the flip of a switch, your machines are off. So I can either run it and daisy chain it up to that machine, but I just don't want the wire across the walkway through. So both of these machines are now connected to the large powered pylon. Let's check it out. Switched power pylon large. And now my machines are off. With a quick flip of the switch. And of course, just have to take a quick purified water break. Okay, let's see what the map shows. Okay, it's showing that I do not have vending machines powered up. Quick flip of the switch. The screens are glowing with lovely new power. And now it is showing as I have vending available. So my next step is to test it out in survival mode to see if it also shows up there. I'm fairly certain it does, but it's always good to check. So right now the machines are powered off and not showing. So I'm going to go ahead and quit the game. Leave this world and then join back up in survival mode at exactly the same location. If you haven't been in survival mode at all, um, they've changed the rules quite a bit that only if you have the top number of kills are you showing as one of the top three on the map and then you're visible to everyone. So let's just join in and answer this question rather quickly, I hope. So here we are loading up in survival mode. And right now it's not showing me as have, having my player vending powered up. These gray areas are areas you cannot fast travel to. You can only fast travel to train stations or friends camps if you're on a camp. Now it's weird, it's showing that 
they don't have power but the switch is on so let's just turn it off I guess it glitched out going through okay so it's absolutely off there's no power going to any of the screens and then we power it back up screens are powered and yes your camp does show on the map that people can fast travel to so if you are a survival player yes you might want to think about this as either a trap for other players or you know you want to keep the machines off while you're in survival mode so it looks like it automatically turns them off and there we go so thanks for watching and see you out in the world of vending.